여러분 안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. The area of AI and machine learning looks very intimidating and magical from the outside. From self-driving cars to chatbots and even GitHub Copilot is very easy to get impressed with what AI can do. And of course, we should be impressed when we see what can be done using AI because it is awesome. It is mind blowing. But we also have to remember that AI isn't magic. In fact, the more you work with AI, the closer you are to AI, the less magical it will seem. So I wanted to make this video to pull back the curtain a little bit in AI to see how it works from a bird's eye point of view. Today we're going to see that even though we talk about artificial intelligence, there is very little intelligence involved. Instead, there is a lot of data processing, statistics, pattern recognition, and just a lot of numbers. That does not sound, of course, as sexy as artificial intelligence. There are not movies being made of data processing and pattern recognition machines taking over the world. But even though there is no intelligence, it is still an amazing, almost magical thing. But also I hope that by the end of this video you feel a little bit less intimidated by AI and more curious about it. I made a tiny demo application where we can drag and drop photos of different objects or animals. The app is going to try to guess what is on the photo, what animal or what object is there. So let's take a look. As you can see, it works pretty well. Also, as you can see, the machine never says that it's 100% sure of anything and instead gives you a confidence score. Now let's try again, but this time let's choose less common objects and less common animals and as you will see, the confidence score is going to start to drop and the guesses are going to be all wrong. Now we might wonder, why is this model able to recognize some things super well, but some other things like my face not so well? The reason why it doesn't know about everything is because the model that we are using maybe hasn't seen those images or that kind of object before. But hold on a second, because now we have to define what is that word, model, because I keep saying model, 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 what does that mean? The model that we are using right now is called MobileNet, and MobileNet was trained using something called supervised learning. Wonderful people took 50,000 photos of all kinds of animals and objects and hand labeled them and classified them in totaling 1,000 categories. They said basically, this is a cat, this is a dog, this is a shoe, this is a cat again, another shoe, so on and so on and so on. So for example, they ended up with a bunch of different dog photos. Dogs of different breeds, dogs of different colors, a photo from the face of the dog, a photo from the bum of the dog, from looking up, looking down, all kinds of photos of a dog. So they took this group of photos and they gave them to a machine learning algorithm. And they basically say, hey, look, in these photos, there is something that we humans call a dog. So please take a look at these photos and draw your own conclusions into what makes up a dog. So the machine learning algorithm went to work and looked at each one of these photos, but not the way humans would, but the way a computer would. Looking at the image, not as an image, but as data, as numbers, as pixels, trying to find patterns and extract features to know what it is that makes up a dog increasing and decreasing the brightness of the photo to do something called a convolution to try to reduce a photo of a dog to its most important features. Here you can see an image of what this algorithm might see while it's processing a Beagle's photo. What the algorithm finds, those features, those patterns of what makes up a dog are just a lot of numbers and they are what is saved into a model. Now this process of looking at the image and processing the image and extracting the features that happen for each image for each one of those 1000 categories in the mobile net model that we are working with. This is why when we show a photo of my face to the model, it wouldn't know what it is because the model wasn't trained with those kinds of photos. The good news for us is that we are able to extend the model a little bit to teach it things that it doesn't know yet. Because the model is already pretty good at extracting features from images and then making a prediction between a thousand categories, what we can do now is take this extraction power and use it to make the model predict between the categories that we decide. In this demo that I prepared, we can write down the labels that we want to train our model on. 
And using the camera, I will show to the model the images that it needs to be able to train. So let's see if we are able to train our model to distinguish between a happy face and a sad face. So let's show the model first what a happy face looks like. And now let's do the same with a sad face. Now we will wait a little bit for the features to be extracted and for the model to be trained and then we can test and see if it works. And booyah! As you can see, it works like a charm. Awesome! Wow. And that's it for today. I hope that this video gave you a small little overview of how machine learning sort of works and I hope that by now you feel less intimidated and more comfortable. As you can see, it's not magic but it's still pretty cool. Now the thing is that here we are not really doing machine learning by ourselves because if you think about it we are just using the models that somebody else built and trained which i don't think it's so bad when you are getting started with ai actually if you look at what many people are doing in the ai space many of them are actually using a model that somebody else built what we're doing here today is basically driving a car without knowing how the engine works maybe it's fine to drive the car around town it's not a problem but if the car breaks down and you have to open the hood this is when it's good to know what the basics are and this is when we talk about the sponsor of today's video the Korea Startup Agency is recruiting 200 people to join a free AI education program called Year Dream School. Year Dream School runs for 10 months, teaches from the very basics of programming to the advanced level such as data engineering, machine learning and deep learning. It is an intensive AI education program that is almost equivalent as to attending a four-year college with a major in AI. Also, the students of a year dream school will get to have field experience by working with various startups solving real life tasks. There will also be parts of Kaggle competitions. So after graduating from these schools, students will be competent enough to get a job at a Korean tech company or to make their own AI startup. All of these 10 months of education are 100% free. Anyone under 39 years old that wants to learn about AI can apply for this program regardless of the education or career background. Applications are open right now, so click the link below so you will be able to know the behind the scenes of what makes up the models and the machine learning algorithms that we have been using today. Thank you for watching as always. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to make more videos related to AI. And if you enjoyed the demos today, let me know if you would like a tutorial on that because it turns out that it's very easy to build machine learning stuff in the browser using just vanilla JavaScript and ML5.js. So if that is something you're interested on, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching as always. Stay happy, stay free, stay healthy. Eat kimchi, kamsamnida, salam heyo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.